But when they were passing by early in the morning, they saw the fig tree already withered from its roots. Peter, remembering it, said to him, Rabbi, see, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. In reply, Jesus said to them, Have faith in God. Truly I say to you that whoever tells this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but has faith that what he says is going to happen, he will have it happen. This is why I tell you, all the things you pray and ask for, have faith that you have received them, and you will have them. And when you stand praying, forgive whatever you have against anyone, so that your Father who is in the heavens may also forgive you your trespasses. They came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came and said to him, By what authority do you do these things? Or who gave you this authority to do these things? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism by John from heaven or from men? Answer me. So they began to reason among themselves, saying, If we say, From heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But dare we say, From men? They were in fear of the crowd, for these all held that John had really been a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. Jesus said to them, Neither am I telling you by what authority I do these things. Chapter 12 Then he started to speak to them with illustrations. A man planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a vat for the winepress and erected a tower. Then he leased it to cultivators and traveled abroad. In due season, he sent a slave to the cultivators to collect some of the fruits of the vineyard from them. But they took him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent another slave to them, and that one they struck on the head and dishonored. And he sent another, and that one they killed, and many others, some of whom they beat and some of whom they killed. One more he had a beloved son. He sent him to them last, saying, They will respect my son. But those cultivators said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and kill the cultivators and will give the vineyard to others. Did you never read this scripture? The stone that the builders rejected, this has become the chief cornerstone. This has come from Jehovah, and it is marvelous in our eyes. At that they wanted to seize him, but they feared the crowd, for they knew that he spoke the illustration with them in mind. So they left him, and went away. Next, they sent to him some of the Pharisees and of the party followers of Herod in order to catch him in his speech. On arriving, these said to him, Teacher, we know you are truthful, and you do not seek anyone's favor, for you do not look at the outward appearance of people, but you teach the way of God in line with truth. Is it lawful to pay head tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Detecting their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why do you put me to the test? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. 
Jesus then said, Pay back Caesar's things to Caesar, but God's things to God. And they were amazed at him. Now the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came and asked him, Teacher, Moses wrote us that if someone's brother dies and leaves a wife behind but does not leave a child, his brother should take the wife and raise up offspring for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first took a wife, but when he died he left no offspring. And the second married her, but died without leaving offspring. And the third the same way. And all seven left no offspring. Last of all, the woman also died. In the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had her as a wife. Jesus said to them, Is not this why you are mistaken? Because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For when they rise from the dead, neither do men marry nor are women given in marriage, but they are as angels in the heavens. But concerning the dead being raised up, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the account about the thorn bush, that God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, and God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. He is a God, not of the dead, but of the living. And he sat down with the treasury chests in view, and began observing how the crowd was dropping money into the treasury chests. And many rich people were dropping in many coins. Now a poor widow came and dropped in two small coins of very little value. So he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly I say to you, that this poor widow put in more than all the others who put money into the treasury chests. For they all put in out of their surplus, but she, out of her want, put in everything she had, all she had to live on. 